Okay, we are now at the end of the genesis of the jaspers, and we make a resume and uh, a classification of the main type of jasper. So we start the first video with a classification that we use for a, a better idea of we, what we are talking about, and now we we want to check again if the classification is a reason to exist. So the first classification was uh, made by uh, its precursor. So we see that uh, uh, oceanic jasper uh, is uh, opal from organic organism, uh, amorphous opal, that is the precursor of uh, abyssal jasper and flint. Um, volcanic jasper derived from uh, the vitrification of volcanic glass. So some fossils are mm, the transformation, a kind of pseudomorphosis of uh, organic matter, mainly uh, wood, and uh, uh, chemical jasper are made from by precipitation direct from solution. So oceanic jasper, we see that are divided in flint and abyssal jasper. This is a definition that is not usually done because uh, or flint and jasper are two different kinds of, of rock and uh, of course uh, they are considered rocks because uh, there, is, there is more material inside, there is some quartz, there is some pelitic material from, from river and uh, most is made of uh, small phyllosilicate. And uh, uh, in both in flint and, uh, and in abyssal jasper, uh, but in flint also there is some carbonaceous material. So um, the genesis is the same from opal, amorphous opal, from um, the atoms and radiolarian, and the only difference is. Uh, the fact that uh, flint are above the uh, CCD, the carbonate compensation depth, so they are mixed with the carbonatic material, uh, but under the CCD it's impossible to have aragonite or calcite, and uh, th these materials are more pure. So there is no contamination. For this reason, the, the bed are more thick and uh, important and there is not a wooden edge like in flint. Also um, in ab abyssal jasper uh, there is a continuous bed and, uh, and there is not uh, the possibility to make wooden edge because we have a long sequence of jaspers uh, but in flint we have only one small bed that is um, intermixed in between um, uh, carbonaceous mud that have uh, their genesis compactation and in this uh, process flint uh, uh, suffer boudinage so it's separate in uh, nodular uh, nodule uh, so uh, usually we, we see uh, flint in kind of small bed or lens or a small nodule and just uh, only in few cases there is chert that is more abundant the, the position for resedimentation or because there is a, f a kind of uh, die of a big amount of organism all at the same time. But here, under the CCD, the sequence can be uh, very long, tens or hundreds of meters. Okay, I instead, uh, in Volcanic jasper all uh, depend from glass. Uh, volcanic area are the best place to look for jasper, and uh, in general is the place where more silica co is in circulation, in the in the form of colloidal solution, and uh, in the, the play in volcanic area is possible to find also chalcedony, agate, and, and different kind of opals. So. The reason is because mm, there is a lot of circulation of 
silica also because um, um, there is hot water that make more easy to to make to put in solution silica and because um, most of the glass is under the form of tuff uh, ash tuff so when when a pumice uh, is a bubbled uh, glass uh, rise from depth the the vesicle increase and when they reach the the resistance of the glass they broken the glass so the result is a very nice very uh, small uh, shards of glass and this uh, sh this kind of sharp uh, we we speak of 100 millimeter uh, ash but the shape is with a big surface so this means that is uh, there a lot of contact with water uh, because uh, of a big surface of the particle and it's very easy, easy to enter in solution to be dissolved so all the ash stuff that are present in volcanic area are a very good source of silica in, in, in circulation the three kind of volcanic jasper depend on mm, the distance uh, from from the vent so of the temperature so stratiform jasper are an alteration of the tuff in cold uh, situation far from the volcano uh, but massive jasper are more uh, in induced by fumarole activity and by temperature so they are more thick deposit and are more near to the vent of the volcano and the rheolitic jasper are the result of alteration of obsidians and we know that glass is very unstable and uh, most of the obsidian in the geological record are altered in a rheolitic jasper or other kind of stuff so many of them are uh, uh, transformed in uh, silicated material so jasper and um, the, the, the best kind of uh, volcanic uh, area for uh, find uh, jasper is uh, a bimodal uh, uh, volcano uh, 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 volcanic complex uh, bimodal means that is made of andesite that is black and basic and rhyolite that is white and acid and lava so there is uh, some kind of volcano uh, typically of uh, volcanic arc that are bimodal <coughs> and this kind of volcanic complex are um, I important for have uh, big caldera complex so if you look if you find caldera mm, very easily in the area where there is caldera you can find a, a huge quantity of different kind of microcrystalline silica so uh, a typical caldera is between 6 8 to 10 15 kilometer diameter and uh, all inside and around we can have a field of uh, alteration that can be around uh, 50 and 100 kilometer diameter uh, the area of uh, strong sil silicization and abundant silica in solution so if you want to look for new deposit look for caldera and uh, mm, we divide the rheolitic jasper uh, in uh, two mm, special kind of uh, of material that are uh, orbicular jasper and tundra orbicular jasper is just a kind of uh, rheolitic jasper that they've uh, suffered have a further uh, alteration after the after the formation of uh, um, spherulite and uh, uh, the transformation of the ground mass in more chalcedony and uh, the spherulite uh, mm, uh, become banded and crystallized so uh, this is a secondary process um, is a kind of disequilibrium be between um, 
Jasper and Chalcedony, and we will see this in, in the next ch chapter. So, uh, Orbicolas Jasper is just a few deposits in the world, maybe three or four, and that, uh, that are really orbicular. And most uh, of Rhyolitic Jasper have this appearance. And Tanderek is the same process that uh, arrived in Taf. So not in obsidian, but in Taf. Uh, the, the, the fact is that spherulite can coalesce together, mm, can be sticked one to, uh, to the other. So you can see in this nodule, many, many, many uh, spherulite are uh, composing the uh, mm, outer core of this uh, Tanderek. So the fracture after is filled by agate. So this is the, the process of tundrak formation from the dissolution of glass starting from uh, something uh, is called alkali silica reaction that we will see in another chapter. And this, um, the glass is liquefied and transformed in gel. And um, mm, this, this is the spherulite formation. This is a colloidal solution made of silica. Uh, when this colloidal uh, dry uh, loss volume and make the fracture in the next uh, uh, rainy season uh, the fracture uh, uh, can uh, be filled by new water and uh, more more uh, alkali silica reaction reaction arrive and uh, more big is the spherulite so uh, this this light can expand and uh, the next uh, dry season uh, fracture uh, increase and migrate and uh, increase in, in in length so during the uh, fracture migration uh, the fracture uh, can meet more and more spherulite that can stick together and uh, uh, from from the tough they are uh, encountered by the fracture and they stick together ma made making a, a big nodule made of many many spherulite all together so uh, the, the real uh, factor that made possible the tundra formation is the the presence of the fracture without fracture there is no tundra okay uh, another kind of fossil is um, on fossil, but typically the um, the, the the jasper uh, fossil is petrified wood. And petrified wood is uh, is a real jasper made by a process called permineralization, where the silica enter uh, inside all the cells of the wood and all the microstructure of the wood are replaced. Um, Permineralization is very similar at, uh, very similar to a process called plastination, and this is um, is made by man is uh, forcing a polymer to enter in the uh, in the water of a cell, a human cell or uh, some animal, and uh, uh, the cell are filled with a polymer. When mm, when the polymer uh, would be hardened by UV ray, by hot temperature, or by some catalyst, um, it not crystallize. This is the reason of for the preservation. If we put in the uh, wood cell a solution with, for example, salt, or another uh, solution with some material that ca can crystallize, uh, when mm, crystals start to grow, will broke the, the cell structure. So um, the, the way to preserve the cell structure is not crystallize. <coughs> I, uh, without crystallization we can uh, have that the transformation from a colloidal solution to a hard material is without change in volume and change in structure. Only hardening. And this is uh, what is possible to do with polymer and this is uh, a uh, very uh, big proof to um, that point to uh, to uh, to the jasper as a polymer. So.
So uh, the permealization preserve all the structure of the wood, and another kind of uh, replacement is uh, above uh, calcite or aragonite of many fossils like stromatolite or corals, but this is really a replacement. Th that means it's a kind of pseudomorphose. But uh, the in the in the case of wood is permineralization. Then we see uh, the chemical jasper that are basically made uh, lamina by lamina, and we see that lamina is probably a kind of varv, uh, 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 that means is a um, annual uh, or annual deposit. So if we fill a cavity with water, the mm, silica that is in inside the water is deposited as a flat lamina. This lamina is a basic uh, structure of all mm, chemical jasper and is probably uh, the deposition of one year. So um, many, many lamina mm, fill the, the, the nodule. But after the formation of the filling, there is uh, some secondary phenomena uh, that uh, uh, give a structure, uh, a pattern more uh, commonly used uh, uh, in in lapidary uh, that is uh, orbit jasper or bretchatis jasper. So we will see that these mm, two uh, structures are uh, made by secondary phenomena uh, on mm, chemical jasper that originally have this laminate structure. Jasper gate are uh, in uh, between mm, jasper and agate formation in condition where both are stable so <coughs> we have not um, like in typical jasper that lamination is uh, horizontal banded but mm, the the colloidal solution is more sticky more dense so is uh, near the limit of a gel and the stick on the on the wall cavity and also on the top and then uh, drip from the top so we have stalactite and the position at the base but it's not so fluid to make a uh, plant bedding like this case so the bedding is more ondulated so uh, we here we are in the same uh, in the same nodule uh, where uh, both chalcedony and jasper are stable so this is the formation of orbs uh, after uh, uh, Jasper a filled a cavity. Uh, the material can be uh, muddy or more or less uh, hard and uh, mm, can uh, absorb water until um, all the material is wet. But uh, if water entered from all this uh, the side very slowly, mm, some hair uh, would be trapped in the middle, and um, ca can cannot the water cannot uh, reach the center of the nodule, and leave um, an area that is dry. At the boundary between dry and wet, there is polymerization and uh, hardening of the jasper. So next year, when we have mm, <coughs> a new input of water, uh, um, the bubble of uh, high is trapped uh, beside the first because cannot enter in the first one. So we make a second orbs and so on, so on, every year we make a circle. So this is the, the step that give to the formation of uh, an orbit jasper uh, cavity is filled by water that leave lamina and lamina and uh, during dry season we have um, a loss of volume and the formation of desiccation cracks so uh, at the filling of the nodule we have some secondary phenomena uh, as 
convolution uh, because of the load uh, of the lot of Jasper in the inside of the node and the deformation of the orb that is uh, a very late phenomenon. And the genesis of the Jasper is quite different and is a kind of um, disease of the Jasper. So if we have a, a, a dissolution of the Jasper because of a uh, new input of water and solution, um, this uh, is where uh, water can arrive, can enter in the Jasper. So it's along a fracture and are along a joint between laminas. But if the chemical uh, situation is changed, uh, it's possible that mm, when uh, after the dissolution of the Jasper, when mm, the, the colloidal solution um, deposit again a material, uh, it uh, um, deposit uh, calcedonite instead of jasper. So there is a substitution along and uh, uh, the major joints of porosity, uh, there is substitution uh, of uh, jasper with calcedony. So uh, the crack is not a real crack, but is a dissolution uh, vein and uh, uh, the process is not physical but is chemical. Uh, we know that it is very 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 hard the jasper so it's impossible to break physically uh, and is just uh, <coughs> a chemical phenomenon. So the, the, the fragment of the breccia are not moved and are never fractured one between the other just <coughs> there is a kind of dissolution around the fragment. And so this is the propagation of the crack and um, for explain uh, with why the uh, fragment uh, have sharp edge, um, we, uh, we know that uh, mm, a small fracture can be draining the, uh, the water inside so make a uh, soft and jasper, an area of soft and jasper and uh, there is a, uh, some dissolution uh, along the fracture when, uh, when deposit, it deposit calcedony. So this is the result. Uh, at the, at the, the next year, uh, water enter uh, around the calcedony and uh, can fill some small fracture uh, because of uh, losing uh, losing water and make some crack. So this crack, when there is new loss of uh, loss of uh, volume because of of uh, the the Jasper mm, dry again and make new fracture. So the new fracture are um, perpendicular to the first fracture. So uh, this continue in a fractal way and uh, uh, every time we have a fracture we fill it with new calcedony. So we never uh, dissolve near the edge but the dissolution uh, arrive uh, along the fracture. So this is the reason because we can we can have a uh, uh, sharp edge clasped inside the, the uh, brechetta jasper. So uh, the dissolution we see that is, a, is very important in, in many jasper. We see um, we can find brechetta uh, chemical jasper like this one, but we can find a, a replacement mm, in also in silify, in petrified wood and in abyssal jasper where in, in both cases there is no movement of fragment but just in filling of new material that is in this case calcedony. Uh, some dissolution was hypothesized also in some orbit jasper, uh, this kind of fracture, but in this case was very early phenomena so the, the filling was a new uh, input of jasper so it was not calcedony. The more uh, amazing uh, ex 
example of the solution is in Tandrek. We can see from many samples that the space occupied by Agat is too much um, if we think that this, the space is due only by fracture. Uh, so um, we see that uh, the, the triangle of the, the Jasper that uh, if we put all together uh, there is a lack, lack of uh, space, no? lack of volume and also the points of this triangle are dissol dis dissolved so we hypothesize that here there is a strong dissolution of jasper and a, a new uh, deposition of um, calcitonin in form of agate so um, the best example uh, of the solution is uh, coconut geode that are not like um, Brazilian geode that are uh, inside a basaltic amygdala that are uh, vesicle in, in lava but they are found in tuff and uh, they are actually um, dissolved tanderic so the, the jasper uh, the jasper that make the tanderic is uh, completely uh, dissolved and just the the round uh, cavity remain and this cavity can be filled by quartz by new agate by new jasper depending on the the place in the deposit but uh, the the genesis uh, is not like the brazilian one because the tuff cannot have vesicle inside so this is a clear example of dissolution of uh, jasper and this is a jasper gate uh, this is, uh, we can see in the same nodule the uh, the formation of jasper dripping from the, the top uh, so we say that uh, the colloidal solution of the the jasper is more sticky more dense uh, don't make very flat uh, banding but more ondulated and stick on the wall but from the wall is drip down so we can see here from the base a clear jasper portion uh, a phase of transition where the jasper is a kind of moss it look like a moss agate and then there is uh, a clear uh, calcedony so this sequence is uh, a sequence representing the passage from a jasper to a calcedony and this happened in few millimeter in the same in the same nodule so uh, there is a clear transition uh, due probably to to the changing of pH uh, from the condition where is stable jasper to a condition where is stable uh, calcedony so here we we have three sample one of uh, jasper where uh, the flat banding is present at lamination is present with few stalactites that represent the beginning of uh, um, the colloidal solution to stick on the wall of the cavity this is a jasp jasper gate where the lamina are more ondulated so the the, the solution is more 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 dense more sticky and uh, in the case of agate, this is clearly uh, uh, sticked on the wall, like all the agata with concentric band uh, and all the structure that de demonstrates that um, chalcedony is more jelly, more dense, more sticky. So uh, it, it, it lie uh, stick to the uh, the complete. Uh, around of the wall cavity but um, the dripping from from the top form moss agate at the base so these moss are uh, ve uh, very similar to to the falling of this kind of jasper here and the real jasper here so we have a passage um, not so different from a real jasper to a jasper gate to a real agate and this is three, three example of more or less the same condition so now we can have uh, the same classification that we see before but uh, more uh, finely more mm, politely uh, uh, 
structured in a, in a nice table. But this is all the, the Jasper we study in this short course.